Hello, my name's John Franks and I help run a charity called Community Money Advice. We have a network of advice centres across the country uh, with advisors helping everyday people with debt issues, but also questions about household budgeting. And at this time of year, a big question on many people's minds is Christmas and how to afford it. So fair for you have asked me if I'd made this short video and offer a few suggestions on how to manage Christmas to a budget. These ideas are based on common and indeed personal experience of how to get it wrong, how to spend too much and end up in the new year regretting it and finding yourself in financial straits. The first thing to do is actually to set a budget. What can you realistically afford to spend at Christmas? And it doesn't matter if that's a modest budget, because it's a lovely and pleasurable thing to do to buy somebody a small or modest present, which shows that you understand who they are. A thoughtful present. It doesn't have to be an expensive games console or a huge widescreen TV. A modest, thoughtful present can be a lovely thing to receive, so bear that in mind. I think another issue which uh, is worth asking questions about is Christmas cards, because they're no longer cheap and the postage isn't cheap either. You may want to consider alternatives like e-cards or cheerful Christmas message on Facebook, and indeed some of your family and friends might agree that there's no need to send cards this year. We're thinking of each other anyway. Anyway, another question to consider. Practical steps now. Well, you can start putting aside small amounts of money. We have a jar, a pound or two here, daily, weekly, as appropriate. So that as you get closer to Christmas, some of that budget you've allocated is already there for you to draw on in cash. Something else you can do is to start buying some small items towards Christmas now as part of your standard weekly shop. So that might be small presents. It might also be a food item, as long as the sell-by days isn't before Christmas. So a jar of cranberry sauce or um, a stuffing mix might be appropriate there. As you get closer to Christmas and you decide to have your main present shopping day, it suggests that you take out the money to budget in cash. And if you're afraid you might be tempted to spend out more on a credit card or a debit card, and leave them at home and then you can't spend more than you've got on the cash and you will definitely be to your budget. These simple things are all worth considering. A further one is that if you've got guests coming at Christmas, they'll be very happy to make a contribution towards the cost of food and drink and it's worth asking that. After all, you're family and friends. You're there to share a family time to celebrate the festival and it isn't all about money and massive presents. I very much hope that you have a fantastic Christmas. I hope that you're able to manage it financially. And I really hope that when it comes to the new year, you're not looking at a big hole in your bank account or a nasty credit card debt which is going to be a curse for you for months to come. You can enjoy Christmas without all of that. And I very much hope that you do. Thank you for listening. Take care.